Hi Survivors, it's me Purple Zan reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not. It's horrifying. Now, I just got through doing a video about being displaced and how we should be prepared to be displaced. How we should have money, some cash on hand. That's one of the items I didn't put out here, but I'm saying it now. We should have cash on hand and we should have a bug eye bag ready to go. And of course the bug eye bag will consist of some other things that I don't have here. A change of clothing, of course, you know, your toothpaste, your toothbrush, of course. <laughs> you know, the, you know, it's like some of the basic things, you know, and uh, I want to go over some other things that are very important. You want to make sure you have some water, some food, some non-perishables. I always try to have the non-perishables. These are kind of expensive. Like, you know, soup if you could pop the top. If not, you have that can opener, a knife. You know, or our weapon or whatever, you know, you may have or choose. You know, first aid kit, of course. These are some old bandages. Of course, I wouldn't use it because it's like <laughs> kind of not so clean. Had it for a very long, long time. Um, these band-aids, some peroxide, some alcohol. Y'all be surprised how this stuff come in handy. Y'all know that I travel all the time and I don't ever travel without my alcohol, peroxide, my band-aids. Um, this alcohol will kill any type of germ. 91% alcohol which this is, it kills, they, they, they say when an illness first occurred, they, they were um, suggesting that people keep this and to wash their hands and, you know, and, and things of that nature. And also for cuts and bruises, of course, uh, peanut butter and jelly, um, another canned good, you know, some oatmeal, something, something I can make quick, some salt for the seasoning. And then, of course, your, your lighter. You know, I use this lighter. This is a, like a little portable I call it my little portable. It's kind of hard to open. But when you open this top, right, this is my blue gel. You light it, and then it, it, it starts a fire. This will keep you warm, and you'll be able to cook uh, with this item. This is like some non-perishable chocolate pudding. All I have to do is mix water with it. And these are some freeze-dried sweet corn, thanks to the prepping mama. I think she's a day in the life of uh, prep, pre prepping right now. Um, she sent me a whole bucket full of these things. I keep a mask, not because I like wearing masks, because some places you go, they still make sure, they still want you to have a mask to have access. So therefore, like you won't be denied access into a store or you go someplace, you will have these things. Now, this is something that I really want to show you guys. This is really, really important. Okay, of course, batteries and flashlight. Um, you can find mine here, but I do have one here. Um, and what else did I not go over? This, this is important. This is water, water purification tablets, right? It comes in a set of two. The other one is here somewhere as well. I don't ever travel without these items that you guys see here. If I go into a city and I don't have like non-perishables or water, that's the first thing I do. That's the first thing. If I'm in a hotel, I don't care where it is. I'm going to have like some cases of water delivered to me, you know, or uh, for I, if I go pick them up and some non-perishables. I mean, like instantly, I don't play that game when I travel. I have some on me and not just enough to where it's not heavy enough where I could travel with it. But I make sure wherever location I'm, I am, especially if I'm staying past the day, I make sure I have that, especially a lot of water. And that salt is also very important. So now I want to show you guys another thing that's very, very, very important. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, I forgot to get it. It's some cotton balls. How about, I'm going to make another video. I was going to show you guys show you guys how to make a fire. This is dirt, right? And what I do, I have two cans, two canned goods empty, emptied out, right? I'll put the dirt inside the big canned good, like on the side. I'm going I'm to show you guys the video. And then you also make sure this can, the outside can is way bigger. And then this can, you put this can inside of the can. You make sure the dirt is filled up on the side. Put the cotton balls inside. And, and, and then you put add some alcohol on top of the cotton balls. And then you light it. You light the cotton balls. It's going to start a fire. And you can cook wherever you go. And you'll be able to take that. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all another video. I forgot to put my cotton balls out. <laughs> I thought I had every... Uh-oh. Okay. Here we are. I found them. So let me situate this phone. And I'm going to show you guys very quickly. Should I do it in the next video? Yeah, so I can take my time and do it right. Uh, I'm going to show y'all in the next video. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> but y'all just showed, I just really told you what to do. But so yeah, this is, these are some of the things when you're being displaced that you can put into your bug out bag that you can have. I have these things on my website. Um, I wish I could open this so I could show y'all how to light it, but you can get these. Well, they did used to have them at dollar stores, but now you can't even find them. And also we have these on the website as well. These portable, uh, water purification tablets. Y'all, these are things that are important to get. We have some other things that you might be interested in as well. Y'all check it out. And all the proceeds go back into supporting this channel, which would be very great if you guys would support that. So uh, as always, please give this video a thumbs up. And there are some other things I know y'all can add them in the comments because, you know, and, and share some of the things you have in your bug out bag. But this stuff, I don't travel without it. I just don't. <laughs> These are like the basics. I'm not going anywhere without this stuff. Like, seriously. My, my people laugh at me. And I take these two cans and that dirt and the cotton ball and a pot with me as well. That way I, I can cook. Y'all, it saves so much money when you go in places that you are, you're being displaced and you have ways to cook. Because I'm telling you, eating out is, first of all, it's not healthy. Um, it, it, it tears your money up. It tears your, your finances up. If you're displaced for two or three weeks and you have to eat out every day, you, these days in time, you, you're coming out hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. So this is why, you know, with me traveling, I learned how to do th things very economically feasible. With me having a little small pot, sometimes you can have a little smaller pot than that. And those two cans with the dirt and the cotton balls and the alcohol or this, either or, where you can light it and, and it start a fire and you can do your own cooking, I'm telling you, saves me thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And I keep me a bag of beans and rice. That's another item I don't have on here that I take with me anywhere I go. I always have a small bag of beans. These kind of heavy, but I have something like smaller than this. I got so much, so many non-perishable. I guess you call me the non-perishable queen. Cause I just keep all kinds of uh, non-perishables on me in like a little small bag of rice. You won't go hungry with this. And it'll last you a long time. And if you will get really full, really quick. I love beans and rice. People make fun of me. I can have a, a bowl of beans and rice a day and won't eat nothing else. And I will be full off of it. I'm telling you, it fills you up and it's very, very nutritious. So please give this video a thumbs up. Please follow my other platforms if you can. If you're looking for land and bug out areas in Texas, I have some for sale and for lease. And um, as always, watch this world, watch the weather, smell your water, boil your water before you use it. And you guys can go to the website and get some of these water purification tablets and this here for cooking if need be and keep surviving.